Hey, I got a Husky brass pulsating sprinkler with tripod. It's got a lifetime warranty. Covers 7850 square feet. The legs, two part legs, will go down like a camera tripod. And you can adjust the distance. I'll show you on how you spread out you want that tripod to be with another little handle here. It's metal assembly. It's aluminum. It's 48 inches in height. All right, when we're adjusting this, you just loosen this little red knot here. This slides up so you can have different heights. Make sure you close that because if you pick this up, you don't want it to close on your fingers because it'll pinch you a little bit. That's a real nice movement. That's adjustment number one is how far you want the base to be around. Of course, this is like a camera tripod. You can open these up and extend them all the way out. Doompa doompa dee There we go. Loosen that. Got a big wide base to it. It's some kind of aluminum. It's made really nicely. So we're going to connect the hose here. Comes up and shoots out the sprinkler head. Let's study how this works. You have these two little clips here that will control how much you want it to turn. So it's gonna go, this thing looks like a little U to it hits that, and then it's gonna go back, hit that side. So that would be about 180 degrees if you want it even smaller. I guess you can put them on top of each other, go all the way around. So the water's gonna come out this little hole right here. And then it's going to hit this thing, and that's going to rotor it doink, 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 all the way around. Comes back. You can also turn this screw in, and that just hits the water stream, and it'll make it spread out more. So it's going to come out at a certain velocity right here at this hole. That can't be changed until unless you turn the water pressure up and down from the hose faucet side, and then. If this hits in the inside the stream more, it'll spray more. So you have the water velocity coming out that hole. You have this, which makes the spray stream, or this right here, stream, or more fan. That's called diffusion. And then you have the spray distance, which is this piece. So you can adjust the distance by how much this piece hits the water also this little shield so we'll give it a try and see what they look like we'll adjust this piece and then we'll adjust this piece we'll back this one out and then we'll run this in a very limited pattern so it doesn't hit us just to see it go back and forth okay. Okay, we're going to turn the water on. We'll open it up a little more. Let's open up the pressure a little more. There we go. Okay. Let's change this, this distance now. So this goes down a little bit. It hits it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Push it down a little more. Get some air in the hose. Turn it off. Press it down a little more. This is going to spray some. Oh, that's way too much.
So that's just, that's just almost like a diffuser also. Okay, that's shooting one, two, three, four, five. That's 40 feet I'm measuring on this pressure. I don't have the hose turned up all the way at the wall. I'll turn this in a little bit. Well, let's look at it again, normal. Let's turn this in some. The diffuser. Okay, you can see the stream is wider. Going a little more. Now it's much wider. And of course, wider it shoots doesn't shoot quite as far. So it does probably about one, two, three, four, about thirty feet in that level. Go in and block it as much as we can. This is gonna spray a lot. Yeah, that's just a nice spray. We also have this when it moves back, this little spray is shooting over to the right side a little bit. Hmm? I just want to be careful not to pull this out all the way and drop parts on the ground because we'll never find them. I'm going to turn the water pressure up. Pretty well. We probably have 50 psi right now because no one's using the water. One, two, three, four, five. Almost six panels. That'd be 48 feet. Highest hose pressure. It's really stable. It's one pattern all the way around, whatever the arc is, the angle is in terms of the spray pattern. It's a steady pattern for the actual stream itself. Here are the three parts. What? You have C, it's these little clips here adjust the circular arc or angle you want a or b rather is the diffusion pattern that's that screw and a adjust the distance basically if it hits the water or not it's four feet tall 1.21 meters so it will cover 78 50 square feet the area of a circle is pi r squared, so 7850 equals pi 3.14 times half of the diameter, 50 squared. 3.14 times 50 squared equals that square feet if you have it in the circle. And presumably, if you have enough pressure, I'm not going to measure all the different pressures coming out of the wall of my hose, but I didn't read anywhere what minimum PSI that would be, but mine was between... 30 and 50 and it seemed to go seemed to work that way I got about 48 feet sure so 50 feet just tinkering with it pretty accurate